intensely you stir the pot deeper, the reverberations within the emotions, the mentality and the behavior of our people. You know, it is one of those deep psychological states that we are currently trying to find our way through. Many people make reference to our ancestors. Many people make reference to wanting to be free from a system that subjugates us into a control mechanism. If we really are being honest about the war in the spirit and the war that is upon the flesh, we are to look at the first heritage of the earth and look at the trueness of what religion points to, even though we are so diffused and divided into our notions of Europeans giving us religion. However, if you look at the history of law and the emergence of nation states, destiny, and currently the cooperation, you would understand one thing these globalist oligarchs have in common with a name synonymous with control. Yeah? Check the etymology of their construction. Check the etymology of their name. See where their bloodlines lead to. And then you're going to find out that it's truly one war that is upon this earth. And until the original peoples of the earth find the true power that only comes from the divine, it doesn't matter how you perceive the divine as long as you are just, moral, ethical, and in true alignment. However, we are favoritists in many dichotomies because we are attached to so much things that is not of value. It is truly divide and conquer. So when I speak through my religious eyes, isn't it strange that a man who is religious can also acknowledge the annihilation of culture yeah, and the complete debauchery of the modern movements supposedly enshrined with re-establishing culture when all they are doing is playing into or out of the playbook of their masters. These boules, these guys are trying to please the king the king who has destroyed our kingdom, our kingdom. So, though many of us might not seem the way revolutionaries are seemingly, but we have forgotten one thing. All things come from the source. How can they be changed unless God is acknowledged within the vessel? So you can play the postmodernist notion of what Europeans have brought into religious consciousness, or you can revisit the truth of your own destiny by being moral, honest, trustworthy to those who are in, to those who are of kin because that's very very important because we expose this as an international rule to everyone that is outside of kin but once you're in kin you behave differently so it's very interesting that we're talking about unity when we still think unity is amongst the same belief system not recognizing that the enemy all of them are unified against us. So why is it you're going to make religion, spirituality, belief system, ways of life divide you? Can't you love yourself truly? Don't you understand? Don't you overstand? Keep preaching, keep beseeching and dividing through religiosity, spirituality, sociopolitical, economic, and all these theories, right? But actuality is, all who share this tonality, whatever your language, linguistics, whatever your etymological origin, we face the same oppression. The secret vanguards preserving the king's power over us hasn't freed none of our families, haven't freed our nation, because we truly have no sacred autonomy. There is no true spirituality Less it's individual and well preserved because we hunt those things down, remember? And we destroy it. We don't like the truth a lot. We like to accuse a lot. We don't like to recuse a lot. So let me recuse myself from such situations and recuse the people who are in the alignment of goodness, who want to do something that is beneficial. And that is usually being a better human being and growing your family, if you have a family, towards preserving that harmony. You have to come out of her. So fighting and warring yeah, to control this system will not give you back self-control. So it makes no sense going after the system from the outside. You go after the system from the inside. Yeah? So why you don't understand, I don't want to understand when true reasoning comes about, 
Don't get caught up in the words. Just listen. You got to be yourself, an authentic self. And if it is an authentic self, then it cannot be duplicated or have been duplicated, yeah, on these screens we are so observing. And if it is an authentic self, the only place you'll see any kind of reference to it is far, far, far in ancient of times. And you have to see it for yourself. You cannot let it be interpreted by professors, historians, or lawyers, or these legalistic minds. You have to see it for yourself. Feel it intrinsically. So when the information of the Americas has come out as a cradle of civilization of our ancient lands, yes, we have ancient people who have come across the divide since the landmass has broken apart. But the heritage and the culture of the Americas has remained practically the same for our millennia. And as such, we are that heritage. Until we wake up, the earth will not wake up. So that which has been hidden it's not across the Atlantic, it's right here, hallelujah. So until we wake up and see what is hidden right in front of our very eyes, we will not understand why so much attention is always upon our societies when we are supposed to be some little third world nation states, but for some strange reason, they're trying to buy out your prophets, buy out your priests, and buy out your leaders from ever since. But your leaders have always worn a gentle, honest banner. And it's covered, yeah, in your centricity. So don't just judge your leaders always because they speak the European ilk. You gotta trust yourself and trust your leaders. Yeah, it's something in the blood, right? Not everybody that plays the game is all into the game. Some people is playing to get to the head of the game, yeah, because really some of us know until the game is completely destroyed, there is truly no freedom of movement, yeah, from the pawns the bishops, to the kings, to the queens. It's a bigger game and only ends in the self. A lot of what is being said here will be so confusing. But then, that's how I survive. Because if I wasn't some confusing, crazy nobody in the middle of nowhere, I don't know if a word would ever, hallelujah, come out of my mouth, as strange as it looks, to, to be of any benefit to anyone. Because believe it or not, if I'm caught between the major floodlight of the true man reality, yeah, showing us all what we want to see only, then believe it or not, all of what I'm saying, yeah, would be something that is completely fathomless. But there's some truth to it, because I'm not in that true man reality. That show can show you what you want to see, yeah. But I'm not going to wake up and realize all the cameras are on me, because especially I'm holding it in my hands. So you got to realize the impersonalization of reality. But there is interpersonal and there is impersonal. So guess what? Something you just got to learn from the impersonal. Because humans have lost the personal connection. But sometimes it takes a detached soul who's speaking in riddles and parables and sounding like he's smart to wake you up to recognize that, for God's sake, it's not outside the worries. It's inside. It's not outside the victory is. It's inside. That's all I'm saying. Forget about all the blah, blah, blah. Forget about that. The victory is inside. You got to save your soul. That's it. You cannot save your brother, sister, son, mother, father, daughter, soul. You got to save your soul. Set good examples that they will follow. True love and understanding. Until next time. This has been a great hour. That's a moment of clarity or even confusion.